okay so hello friends today our topic is the ophthalmology image based discussion okay so let's start so first we will start with the conjunctivitis so it is inflammation or infection of the outer membrane of the eye wall and the inner eyelid and here the treatment is by antibiotics and if allergic then we will use antihistaminics now the types of conjunctivitis and this is the gonococcal conjunctivitis it is caused by Neisseria gonorrhea treatment is single injection of ceftriaxone single dose of azithromycin or doxycycline for one week this is pseudomembrane in conjunctivitis so this condition the description is it is an inflammatory condition of the of the conjunctiva characterized by mucopurulent discharge and pseudomembrane formation this is true membrane in conjunctivitis this is characterized by the formation of a gray white layer of tissue consisting of fiber fibroblasts blood vessels fibrin and inflammatory cells so here you can see the formation of a true membrane Next is acute hemorrhagic conjunctivitis. So it is a contagious ocular infection characterized by pain, swelling of the eyelids and subconjunctival hemorrhage. Now the causes are viruses and the viruses are enterovirus 70, Coxsackie virus A24 variant and adenovirus 11. Okay. Treatment, no specific treatment is there for the hemorrhagic conjunctivitis next is angular conjunctivitis so it is a subacute bilateral conjunctival inflammation caused by the morax axenfeld that is the moraxilla lacuna diplo diplobacillus treatment is oxytetracycline eye treatment and the drug of choice is 2% zinc oxide skin lotion this is neonatal conjunctivitis it is a form of conjunctivitis which affects newborn babies following birth. The most common causes is chlamydial conjunctivitis and conococcal conjunctivitis. So these two are the most common causes. Treatment for chlamydial is aqueous penicillin eye drop and for gonococcal is erythromycin eye ointment. Next is phylactinular conjunctivitis so it is a nodular inflammation of the cornea or conjunctiva that results from a hypersensitivity reaction to a foreign antigen treatment is drug of choices topical steroids okay next this is epidemic keratoconjunctivitis so it is a viral conjunctivitis caused by a group of adenovirus treatment is no treatment is there this is superior limbic keratoconjunctivitis it is a rare chronic inflammatory disease of the superior bulbar conjunctiva limbus and upper cornea of unknown etiology treatment is no treatment now vernal keratoconjunctivitis so in this we have bulbar form palpable form, palpable form and corneal involvement so description is allergic eye disease due to type 1 hypersensitivity to endogenous allergens treatment topical steroids muscle stabilizer topical steroid like lotepredonol prednol and flocinolone topical immunosuppressants like cyclosporine and tacrolimus now this is the bulbar form of the vernal keratoconjunctivitis. These are gelatinous nodules at limbus composed of eosinophilic and epithelial debris. This is the palpable form. So lid margin shows cobblestone or pavement stone appearance. This is the corneal involvement. involvement. This is giant papillae repeatedly rubbing on cornea. Okay. Okay. So this is simplifier. 
so it is a partial or complete addition of the palpable conjunctiva of the eyelid to the bulbar conjunctiva of the eyeball okay treatment is lubrication and systemic steroids or immunosuppressive therapy that is dapson cyclophosphamide okay this is chemosis so it is the swelling of the conjunctiva and it is due to the oozing of exudate from abnormally permeable capillaries okay treatment is no treatment trachoma this is trachoma so this is a bacterial infection that affects the eyes by chlamydia trachomatis treatment is tetracycline eye ointment and oral azithromycin this is panus a condition in which a layer of vascular fibrous tissue extends over the surface of an organ or other specialized anatomical structure especially the cornea treatment eye drops we use dexamethasone prednisolone and cyclosporine this is pinguicula it is a growth on the eyes conjunctiva the clear covering over the white part of the eye it is a yellow raised growth on the conjunctiva no treatment next this is bitot spot these are the build up of keratin located superficially in the conjunctiva of human's eye due to vitamin a deficiency treatment is irreversible changes so no treatment is there subconjunctival hemorrhage it is leakage of blood from tiny blood vessels located underneath the thin clear membrane or conjunctiva that lies atop the white of the eye that is sclera treatment in the most of the cases no treatment sometimes artificial tears is used to help relieve eye irritation if occur this is leukoplakia so that is this is a white corneal deposits in the cornea this is conjunctival lymphoma so it is an ocular surface tutor that tumor that usually so this is tumor that usually appears as a painless salmon pink fleshy patch treatment is chemotherapy immunotherapy antibiotic therapy this is bacterial corneal ulcer so it is a small ulcer on the front part of the eye usually resulting from infection treatment fortified antibiotics that is uh, astobromycin that is 40 40 mg per ml one drop per hour alternating with cefazolin or vancomycin 50 mg per ml this is fungal corneal ulcer it is an infection of the corneal stroma that can cause rapid visual loss and pain treatment polyins natamycin nystatin amphotericin b this is viral keratitis so it is a common infection of the cornea and not always associated with contact lens use treatment is gancyclovir ophthalmic gel 0.15 percent five times daily for herpes simplex virus this is acanthomoeba keratitis it is a rare disease in which amoeba invade the cornea of the eye treatment drug of choice phmb that is polyhexamethyl bigonide other drugs are propamidinyl chlorhexidine neomycin and bacitracin this is exposure keratitis exposure keratopathy also known as exposure keratitis is damage to the cornea due to dryness caused by incomplete or inadequate eyelid closure resulting in loss of insufficiency of the tear film treatment is tersorafi this is arcus senilis it is a depositing of the phospholipid and cholesterol in the peripheral cornea in patients over the age of 60 which appears as a hazy white gray or blue opaque green no treatment 
This is banned separate keratopathy. It is you. It is a depositing of phospholipid and cholesterol in the peripheral cornea in patients over the age of 60, which appears as a hazy white, gray, or blue opaque green. Treatment is topical EDTA excimer laser. This is Kaiser Fraser ring. These are dark rings that appear to encircle the iris of the eye due to copper deposition. Treatment low copper diet penicillamine, triantine, zinc therapy.